hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to see how to display model dialog so here we are going to use j dialog and then we will see how to display that as a model dialog so here this one will be our frame window and when you click this ellipsis button it will display a dialog and this dialog we will customize it that means we will create our own class that means we will create our own class which will derive from this j dialog so from this dialog uh, you can fill the name and age after that if you click ok the dialog informations are retrieved from the frame window that means once again you will return back to this frame window but by this time the frame window is aware of what are all the data filled by the end user so end user clicks here they come here and they will fill the data they click ok and once the dialog returns back we will get name and age So here we construct uh, J dialog and to J dialog we will pass a parent. The parent can be anything here. We are passing frame. You can uh, pass uh, some other dialog also a parent. Uh, then we will provide a title for the dialog. So that's how we construct the dialog. When the dialog displays um, it shows the title whatever you pass here as second parameter and since we pass a frame as a parent here so when user uh, closes the frame it may close a j dialog also in our example we are going to display j dialog as a frame that means uh, i mean uh, in our case we are going to display j dialog as a model dialog so uh, we cannot uh, interact with the frame when the dialog is displayed but in some case uh, a dialog can be displayed as a modulus also there we can access both so in that case if you close frame uh, the container i mean the parent will take care of closing the child so just like a frame window and internal frame we have to so just like a frame window and internal frame here we have to make a call to set visible function and pass true or false so when you pass it true the dialog will be visible and when you pass false to the set visible the dialog will be hidden so to make this dialog as a model dialog we have to make a call to set model so before displaying the dialog you have to make a call to this uh, set model let's say here we make a call to here we make a call to set model after some point we will uh, uh, make set visible so what happens once you make set visible before that we made a set model uh, the code execution will be breaked here until user closes it will be break till user closes this dialog it will be break and once control resumes or uh, i mean uh, once user closes the dialog the control will resume from here so the set visible will be blocking and we will resume once user dismisses the dialog So here if you see uh, this is our frame window here we are actually make call to the dialog and we will 
say set visible true true and before that we will do set model also so let's say it's in the frame code and uh, the call will be blocked so the dialog will be displayed but uh, execution won't resume from here because of the set model true so inside the dialog you will do the processing after that you will uh, set visible false here once you set a set visible false the control will resume from here so execution comes here it launches the dialog user will fill all this then they will click ok or cancel till then the call will be blocked here so after the processing here in this example we are going to process this dialog on the ok click handler so on ok click handler uh, after processing we will set visible to false so once it visible false is set here on the dialog the dialog will be disabled uh, um, dismissed then the control which was previously uh, blocked in the frame window resumes so control in the sense the execution flow control i mean so the execution flow control resumes so that means uh, here in this uh, code execution we can retrieve the information field information will be filled here and we will retrieve it here for further processing the same way here we receive and display the content now it's demo time let's go to Eclipse eclipse and execute it here in the main entry we create our uh, uh, jframe example and we named it as uh, swing custom dialogs as usual we change our size and position and we set a border layout here so in each example we will change this uh, the size and position and layout so for this example we have changed the size and position and we set flow layout and if i run this so we just resized our dialog for this uh, example next we need to create a new class so we name this as a p info dialog and super class we will choose from j dialog So here it has a many constructor version in that we need only this uh, frame and string. So we will use this version. Remaining stuff we don't want. So Eclipse created a boilerplate code for us and in that boilerplate code we removed all the constructor except the one which you are seeing here. So if you looked at the screenshot uh, you may recall that uh, our dialog contains four components one is a label and another one is a text box then one more label for each the first label is for uh, specifying the uh, name then second one is for each uh, first um, the control related to the name label is a text box and then we have a combo box to get the edge. After that, we have a two command button, OK and cancel. 
if you see we declared two variable because this is what we collect from the user user will type the name in text box and they will pick an age from the combo box so we declare those two here as a private member variable then we have a text field combo box so from text field we will take the text and we will assign it here in the name age we will take from the combo box then we create two j button one to represent okay for the dialog and another one will represent a cancel button for the dialog now we will generate getter and setter for name and age so right click anywhere in your source window then choose refactor main source so in the source click on generate getters and setters so there are two private members which are shown with a red square so I am expanding it and choosing both get and set version. Similarly for name we are choosing both get and set version. So set h get h and get name set name. And access modifier we are choosing it as public then clicking ok. We will keep this constructor. So just uh, rearranged. So first members, then we kept uh, constructor. After that, we have getter and setter. So so inside the constructor, we will set the location of the dialog. So using the set bounds, we are asking to display the dialog 100 pixel uh, x comma y coordinate we are specifying 100 cross 100 at that location we want to display the dialog and the size of the dialog is 300 pixel width and 100 pixel height. After that we are getting the content pan just like how we do for the frame window the same way we are getting the content pan and we are naming this as a dialog content then we are setting a flow layout for our dialog so here we created the components and we will add those to the dialog now so in the text box user will input the name and age they will pick from the combo box so cbo age is already created but it is not yet filled with the ages so we will fill the preset ages here we accept 0 to 120 as age Next, we add all these controls to our dialog. That means we add a name label, then text box name, age label, then the combo box CBOH. After that, OK and cancel button. Label, we will import it from JavaX.swing package. And if you see, uh, we resized the dialog here 
by trial and error but um, if you want a proper orientation of this you can either go for a uh, empty layout so here you can set the empty layout uh, set layout null after that you can use a set bounds for each and every control and you can decide where they should uh, uh, sit that means you can decide its uh, position as well as its size or you can go for other uh, advanced layout like a grid bag layout or box layout next we will add a handler for ok and cancel so this will be our uh, dialog box handler After typing new, control space and pick anonymous inner type. So we have handler for BTN OK. The same way I am going to create handler for cancel also. So two handler skeletons are ready, one is for OK and another one is for cancel. So in the OK handler, first we get the text from our text box, txt name text box get text. Then we are making call to set name. So this set name will set our internal member, this member. then from our combo box we make call to get selected item so we are typecasting that as integer and we are passing that to the set h so this is setter function will set the internal member for h after that since this is an anonymous inner class we are accessing the this so p info dlg this that means we are accessing the this object of the parent because here the action listener is the inner class and the outer class is the pn4 and we need this instance of the outer class so we use this notation then we make a call to set visible false so this will hide the dialog so if a user clicks cancel we set name as empty age as zero then we once again set the visible of this dialog as a false so far we prepared our dialog so first we created a class and that extends from g dialog after that we added some private members to hold the dialog data then we generated the getter and setters for name and age private members After that, we taken care of uh, where to display the dialog and we retrieve the content pan and set a flow layout for the dialog. Here we filled the combo box with H. Then we added all these uh, components to our uh, dialog box. Finally, here in this uh, dialog, we handled the OK and cancel button click handler. And if you see here, we are making call to set visible false. That means when dialog is displayed, this line will hide the dialog. Now we will go back to our frame window and we will start implementing the controls for the frame window. Then we will try launching the dialog from this frame window. So for this um, 
for this uh, frame window we are adding a j button i mean we are creating a j button the label is a three dot after that we are creating a text area from java x swing package and the text area will contain five rows and 25 columns and we are setting editable property to false well, because we are going to launch a dialog and from that dialog user will feed the input that we use to fill this dialog that means user cannot directly edit this text area that means here in this text area we will show the formatted input all right here first we are adding the text area then we are adding the button to launch the dialog so now if i launch it the frame window will look like this we haven't yet handled this now we will handle this uh, button click event So we are adding a handler code for the BTN DLG. We make a call to add action listener. New space bar control space. Here inside we can write our uh, code. So if you see first we have an uh, internal uh, member variable str data here we are creating the p info dlg that we created here so p info dlg extends from dialog and we placed all our control and we handled the ok cancel button handler also so we are creating that dialog first we are passing the parent which means uh, j frame as the parent that we are passing here since uh, it's a anonymous inner uh, class we use the outer class name dot this then title we are providing it as a person info after that we are setting the dlg dot set model as true then we make call to set visible so once the dialog is uh, displayed here the code won't execute a remaining portion so the control will get blocked here until we go inside user pick something they click ok or cancel and in the ok or cancel uh, we set visible to false so till this time the control in the parent will be staying here so once a user selects ok or cancel and the moment we make this is set visible as false the control resumes from here and we will come here on this if portion since the dialog is closed now either by clicking ok or cancel we can get uh, the member function dlg.kth by this time user may already set the age so say so for example if they filled the content and they clicked ok here we already set the name and age so that's what here we are uh, using that means here we are using the getter version get h and uh, if it is not zero i mean if it is zero then we say the dialog is cancelled by the user otherwise we display the content name and h that means we are forming the text data string str data and we are setting that to our text area component so this is what called the formatted input so text area we set editable as false and here we are setting the text area with a formatted input that means name will be displayed in first line age will be displayed in second line and name equal to then we specify the name similarly age equal to we specify the age all right now it's time we go ahead and execute this
So this displays our uh, frame window and when I click this ellipsis button, this will launch the dialog. So the dialog will be launched. Uh, the location is 100, 100. That's how here we specified, right? In the set bounds, 100, 100 location from this corner. Okay, anyhow, this is already explained in the very first video while displaying the frame. We no need to reiterate now. So here I filled the data content and I am clicking OK here and you can see the content is read by our uh, uh, JFrame and it is shown here. Here I cannot edit this because we set editable as a false so but it is edited through coding I mean through the set text method here. So runtime can edit it, a user cannot edit that. Alright. Now I am cancelling it and it shows a dialog cancelled. And one more thing, since it's a model dialog and if you see here, I cannot move this because we displayed it as a model and you can also see how it is flashing when I try to click. So just now you watched the demo, that's all here in this video. Thank you for watching and bye.